I suppose it's not something that you go and like speak with your careers advisor at school to be like, um, what careers can I explore? Mm, how about sex worker? Mm, yeah, that sounds good. It was obviously never a route that was ever advertised, pushed, or that I was even really too aware of until more recent years for obvious reasons. I mean, it is a very stigmatised role, even though it's one of the oldest trades out. But my degree is in fashion photography, and I wrote my dissertation based on how women are valued more for their looks over their skills. Um, so the highest paid jobs for women are display professions, such as like modelling, actresses, um, sex workers... And, like, I knew that I would get more attention from my body than I would my own art because this was evident on my Instagrams. Like, my personal Instagram where I just shared bikini pictures would get so much more attention than a photograph or a piece of art that I'd made would. So, and I, like, knew this is confirmed from, like, everyday life of me just walking around leading daily life and being, like, catcalled and harassed by men. So... I knew that society valued me for the way that I looked more than my skills. So I had all this information um, and I was 18 at the time. And then when it actually came to graduating from uni and getting a job and applying for literally hundreds of jobs to not get any, I was a bit like, I, don't, I actually don't know how I'm gonna survive. Um, I retrained, I became a personal trainer. I had endless random temporary jobs like waitressing which to be honest with you all of these jobs that I had I was hired based on the way I looked like even when I was personal training I was told that the head coach that hired me said he hired me because he thought I was good looking not because he thought I'd be a good personal trainer and it was the same when I had waitressing jobs like I was told that oh the only reason we hired you was for your ass I mean so even in these other jobs that I've had, it was always because of the way that I look. So I thought if I'm earning all these other companies money and I'm getting a fraction of it and I'm being harassed in a workplace, and God knows what else, I thought, why don't I just use this knowledge for my gain rather than another company's gain? I did actually go freelance with my photography in the end, but then... It was just so hard and I was getting like no money for anything and I think it's really hard to like put your hobby and your passion into becoming the thing that is your breadwinner. Like it sort of sucks the life and fun out of it. Um, and then Covid hit at this time and I had no money and I'd been thinking about doing OnlyFans for a while and... It was, I had £31 in my bank account. I couldn't work because of COVID. I couldn't get any government support. And this was like the final thing that I was like, well, this is the perfect time to start it because I can't do anything else. I may as well try it. Um, so I went for it. I think actually when I came out of uni and I was having all these issues with all the jobs, I did think about becoming a stripper, but I just wasn't sure like how my dad would take it. But then when COVID hit and I literally had £31, I couldn't pay for anything. I was like, well, this is a way that I can earn money and I don't have to be physically in the company of people. I can do it from the safety of my home online. So it seemed like a good option for me. So yeah, I started in March 2020 and now I'm three and a bit years deep and I'm just very, very glad that I did make that decision and I'm very, very grateful because it has given me such opportunity and such flexibility and such freedom that I could have never had in in any other job and financially it just this the kind of money that you can earn from OnlyFans it's just unparalleled so I suppose I never saw myself really doing sex work but I always did see myself as you know, working for myself, I always wanted to have my own business. I always wanted to have that freedom and flexibility. I've always been entrepreneurial and, and driven. So I knew that I would end up doing something for me, like my own business, but I didn't know it would be this. But I suppose all the breadcrumbs kind of lead 
to this anyway, like even before this when I was quite young, me and my friends just used to do photo shoots of each other all the time, like just for fun, we just used to put them on Facebook. But um, yeah, I suppose I've always been creative, I've always taken pictures and I'd normally be behind the camera, but now it's like all that training of being a photographer has actually helped me be on the other side of the camera. So it all has sort of led to this point even if I didn't expect it to be, I'm actually using all my skills, like all my skills from my degree. Um, it's turned out to be the perfect job for me. So there we have it.